Hello everyone. In this video, we will try to understand how to gather the requirements from the client. As we know that these days, there are many workshops being conducted on various technologies, especially IT workshops like workshop on .NET, workshop on Oracle, Java, XYZ. Say an organization wants an application to manage all these activities like an organization announces a workshop the students register for the workshop and they attend the workshop and trainer will share the material about the workshop and they want all this process automized and client has come to you with the requirement say this is the initial requirement that client has given we also call it as user story in agile world we call this as user story so admin announces a workshop on a topic and assign it to the trainer so this is what the system requires now once the admin has announced a workshop student will register for the workshop and send a request to attend it now admin will approve the request sent by the students and send a confirmation mail along with the login credentials to the portal and they need to carry copy of this mail on the day of workshop as a pass after completion of the workshop they will have secured access to the material of the workshop on portal the client gave you this requirement and they want an application now what you would probably be doing instead of directly taking this requirement and breaking it into the application or the objects and working on it you need to ask few questions now you may ask client few questions okay that's fine if a student registers and after approval he'll get a mail along with login credentials what if a student wants to attend another workshop so already he has attended one workshop so he is an old student so the question may come like this what if an old student want to attend another workshop and what do you want me to send them a mail like do you want me to send again login credentials or do you want to send some different mail to old students okay now client will think on it and will come with some updated requirement like this what we have now they'll come up with the updated requirement which are in red now they'll say specific new student register for the workshop and send a request to attend old student can log in and view the upcoming workshops and send a request for it without registration that means old student need not to register again and again and login credentials will be sent only to the new students now both kind of students need to carry the copy of the mail on the day of workshop as a pass after completion of the course they will have secured access to the material of the workshop on portal so we got the requirement enhanced now client is coming specifically okay we have two categories of students new student and old student now you may ask few more question who is going to upload the material who will what else can admin do how can student access the material xyz you can ask now after few more questions a client may come up with another cycle that is nothing but he'll say okay that's fine he added few more points now he, he becomes very specific admin can view edit delete any workshop after announcing admin can view edit delete the information about the registered candidates can change his own password and can reset the password of the student admin can view edit delete any trainer admin will upload the material in zip format see specifically it is saying now the format of the file is so and so and delete the material the student can view edit and delete their own details and can change their password can download the material can view the status of the request now you can see in the cycle 2 cycle 1 and initial request now you keep on asking the questions to the client unless and until you get the complete requirement now you can ask few more questions anyway we are not going to extend this we are going to finalize it here so this is our finalized requirement so we are not going to add few more to this 
but you can ask a few more questions like this in delete and edit case of the workshop what will happen to the request of the students who already applied for the workshop so now you are asking see you are trying to understand the domain first before you implement anything you understand the domain you understand the business from end to end what is the process okay client said that admin can delete a workshop now you should get a question what what should happen to the request sent by the user for that particular workshop what admin has deleted now you may ask one more question what if student want to cancel the request for the workshop and you can give few suggestions as well these are the suggestions you can suggest him why don't you include student feedback process in this app why don't you give access to the trainers to this app who can send a request for conducting workshop why don't you give rights to the trainer to upload the material so you can give you can ask questions so this is the long process normally all these things in your real time world software or business analyst will do this they talk to the client they make the requirement clear and they go for all these iterations they understand the business they understand the scope and they come up with specific requirement so these are the things that happens behind the scenes but as of now we are going to assume that this is our finalized requirement and we are going to develop an application for this so in our next video we will see how can we identify the roles and responsibilities from this requirement so we will try to break this into some points and get some specific requirements or you can say breaking this paragraph into some points or identifying roles and responsibilities so these things we will see in our next video Thank you very much.